in this video, I'll describe and demonstrate the use of the new copy and paste with reference command. This is new in NX9 for uh, NXCAM. Before I demonstrate the use of the command, let's talk about the setup a little bit to make sure that you can duplicate this on your assemblies. My goal here is to take the the program or the toolpath that's been generated for this position on the tombstone and then copy it to these other locations. So what needs to be set up to be able to do that? First of all, you see that these are not just um, features that were modeled in this file. These are actual, actual CAM or, uh, components that were brought into the assembly and then placed at each of these four locations. So again, it, you can't just locally model the features in this file. You do need components, and the reason for that is when NXCAM is tr uh, transferring the toolpath from one to the other, it looks for the absolute zeros of each location to figure out how to orient the toolpath at the new location. Okay, so I've got my in initial position set up here, and then I've got workpiece two and workpiece three. Let's make the fourth workpiece that we need for this last position. This will fall under MCS main, and we'll call it workpiece four. Here's my part, and here's the blank. Okay, so. Again, it's important that that workpiece line up with the other workpieces here under MCS main. Now I'm ready to copy. I'll just copy from the MCS here, and then I move to the new location. And instead of just paste, I'm going to choose the new paste inside with reference command. Let's grab the other two locations real quick. So that mapping from one workpiece to the other is important. If I tried to copy those features to the MCS main, paste inside with reference actually isn't even an option. So it is looking to map from one workpiece to another. Let's look at what we have here. If I go to this lower workpiece, you see that all the operations are there and positioned correctly. But there are other capabilities of this command that aren't uh, immediately apparent. Let's go to the, the first operation here, the floor wall IPW. If for some reason another instance of this uh, part requires a different step over, I can actually change that without losing the associativity. So I'll change my step over here to 35%. When I regenerate, it tells me it's going to overwrite the path, but that's okay. So here's my 35% uh, uh, step over. And as I look to the Operation Navigator, you can see that the parents here are shown as green check marks, and the paste inside with reference are shown with this new icon. The one I just changed also has a green check mark. And if I go off to the dependencies column, I see blue is the parent dependency, red is the child dependency, but I've edited this toolpath so it has its own icon. Now let's go a little farther down to this next operation. In this case, I'm going to try uh, changing some of the geometry. So I'll uncheck automatic walls, click here, so now I've changed the region that it sees. When I regenerate, I get the same overwrite path prompt. Okay, there's my new toolpath. Let's click OK. And as I go back through the Operation Navigator, I've got a similar situation with the green check mark and then the edit wrench. What does this mean? Have I broken my associativity? A actually, I have not. I'm able to make these changes without breaking the link to the parents. So at this time, if I want to go back, this is falling off the, uh, the bottom of my screen here a little bit, but uh, I'm going to choose, let's see if I can scroll this up. 
uh, dependencies, and I'll hit restore. When I click OK, it returns to the original step over, and now my green check mark is replaced with the paste link icon. Now here, under dependencies, I can choose update geometry mapping, which I think you can just barely see there. Then I regenerate, and again, I'm, I'm back to where I was before. Uh, another common question that people ask is, well, when we set up our tombstones, uh, sometimes the vices or the fixtures aren't exactly where we plan them to be, and as the operator picks those up in the machine tool, a change has to be made. So how hard is that to reflect in NX Cam? Well, let's do a quick example. Normally, you'd only be bumping your parts over a few thousands, but just to demonstrate it on the screen, we'll change this vice by quite a bit. So I'm going to go back to the Assembly tab, and I'm looking, I'm going to unpack all these, and I'm looking for this uh, vice right here. And I believe it's, uh, here's my distance. So I'll change this to 100 millimeters. So you see, because of the assembly relationships that I placed, my vice moves over, so does my part. Now let's go back and look at the uh, MCS. And you can see that it's right where it needs to be, out on that edge, uh, just like the other parts. Uh, the mapping is exact. So the change I made in assembly then is an associative through the copy and paste with reference. So no additional work is required to keep your toolpath up to date. If I go back to the program view, um, I'd want to regenerate that last operation, but this program is now uh, ready to go out to the shop floor because as you see, it didn't just uh, copy and paste and leave everything out of order. It's actually sorted to minimize tool changes. So that's one additional feature there of the copy and paste with reference. Thank you for your time today.